It's a day that some people wait for like a kid waits for Christmas. The 92nd annual Shinkatig Pony Swim is next Wednesday. Now the swim itself only lasts about 15 minutes, but all the fun leading up to and after the swim makes the town of Shinkatig the place to be next week. We caught up with one of the organizers and headed out onto the water to find out what else we can expect from this family fun event. The carnival, the crowds, the anticipation, it all leads up to the main event, the ponies. It's an annual event that turns this tiny island town of nearly 3,000 people into the center of world attention. But today, all is quiet ahead of what everyone waits for. Our population, the week of Pony Pennon, can swell up to about 40,000 people. Denise Ace. Bowden is a volunteer at the Islands Fire Company and has only missed one pony swim since she was born. He's my boy. She says every year is like her first. It's one of the greatest things you'll ever see in your life because when I'm standing out there on that dock and the ponies hit the water right there and these people start cheering and everything, I get goosebumps. Because I know what is happening then is that there are thousands of people's dreams have come true by seeing this pony swim. The Chincoteague Pony Swim was introduced to the rest of the world by Marguerite Henry in her book, Misty of Chincoteague. I tell everybody, you got to come see it at least once. If you've read the book Misty or you've seen the Misty movie, you've got to do this at least once. The weekend prior to the pony swim, saltwater cowboys will begin to round up about 150 adult wild ponies that live on Assateague Island, along with the 60 to 70 foals that were born in the spring. In the following days before the Wednesday morning swim, the ponies are checked out by a vet and allowed to rest. This is also an opportunity for the public to see the ponies. Then it's time for the big day. People come from all over the world. Uh, and they wait out here on this marsh, right here on the boats, uh, two hours, three hours, four hours for a five minute swim. In between uh, Assateague Island and Shingatig Island, this little bit of stretch of channel right here, it's about a hundred yard swim, lasts about five minutes. The swim happens at slack tide, which is a period of about 30 minutes between tides when there is no current. This year's slack tide is expected to fall between six and 8 a.m. The first foal to come ashore will be named King or Queen Neptune and will be given away at the carnival grounds later in the day. After the swim, the ponies rest for about 45 minutes. Then the saltwater cowboys will parade the ponies down Main Street to the carnival grounds where they will be auctioned off the next day. Our citizens don't pay a fire tax. So this is one way how we raise money to buy half a million dollar fire trucks and uh, $200,000 ambulances and everything that goes in them. Um, our vet bills with the ponies can run anywhere from 25 to 30 grand a year. So all that money goes right back into our general fund to help take care of the citizens and the visitors here that come to Shingatig. Selling the horses also thins the herd. We're only allowed to keep 150 ponies on Assateague per our agreement with Fish and Wildlife. And of course, visitors can visit the Shingatig Carnival in the evenings the week of the pony swim. And once the carnival wraps up on that Saturday, Denise says it's time to start thinking about the 93rd year. I feel like we just get done with one when I'm, we're starting into another one. But we're always looking how to improve on some things and take care of some different things. And you know, when I say we've been going 92 years, we have been, and we've pretty much got it down to a fine science. A science that puts nature center stage. And as we mentioned, the festivities get underway this weekend and run all week. In addition to the Firemen's Carnival, you can catch the Chincoteague Island Blueberry Festival and the Chincoteague Island Farmer's Market on Saturday. Now on Monday, there's a showing of the movie Misty of Chincoteague at the Island Theater. To see a complete list of activities, go to our website, delmarvalife.com. you got to do it at least once. At least once. you got to do it at least once.